Alright, um, today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to do symmetrical morphing, uh, which is something that isn't as easy as, as you'd think. So on here I've got this model set up and I can move the eyelids asymmetrically. So they can both be down, both be up, or somewhere in between. And I've done that with these models here, so I've got the eyelid down, up, bear up. And I'm going to do it again with this one here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that head, drag it up, select uh, copy, so make sure it's copy not instance, and then I'm going to apply a morpher to that. And then I'm going to choose this base head here which has got no modifications on it whatsoever. And the reason really why Max can't uh, mirror morph targets in the way you think you can is because of every vertex has its own individual ID so say this one's one two three four when you mirror it okay that's still going to be one two three four and it picks it up on the original model so it's all it's going to do is mirror is uh, alter these ones one two three four on the right hand side so I've got that one and now I'm going to keyframe it. I'm going to turn on auto key and at about frame 10 I'm going to take the morph up to 100. So it's exactly the same as the base head. Now while sticking on keyframe 10, turn off auto key, I'm going to copy the base head. Drag it up. Okay. And I'm going to align it to this one over here. Okay, make sure it's perfect. And then I'm going to apply, apply a skin wrap to it. Now what this does is it takes the your object with the modifier on it and it tries to deform itself to whichever object you choose. So if I had a rectangle there it would try and deform to a rectangle. So I'm going to add uh, the head that it's that with the morpher on it. Okay, that's done. Now, if I drag it back to keyframe zero, it's trying to to morph to it. And if I turn on the uh, wireframe with F3 and go in a bit closer, I'm gonna. F it's not perfect. There we go. That's better. So just alter these settings here. And it should be fine. Now that's all right. So I can collapse it now. Yep, that's fine. And I can delete the mirrored head. So this one all has the correct ver ver vertex IDs on it. Okay, so all I'm going to do now is go to this head, go into the morpher, and I'm going to pick the object from scene, which is this one. Oops, in the uh, correct, in the empty channel, maybe. Pick that head, go back over, increase it to 100, and there we go. 